Imagine you leave Earth in a spaceship, flying straight ahead into space with no detours. You continue on this journey forever. Will you ever reach the edge of the universe? Could there even be an edge? These questions have stumped scientists for thousands of years, and today, we're going to explore them. There are three possible solutions to this cosmic puzzle. One possibility is that, after a long, long journey, you eventually do a cosmic loop, arriving back at Earth without ever hitting a barrier. Another possibility is that space goes on forever, with no loops, no edges, just infinite stars and galaxies. The third possibility is perhaps the most mind-bending, that you eventually find an edge where space and time simply cease to exist. But what would you see at such a boundary? This journey into the unknown is one of the greatest questions in astrophysics. Before we get into the complex stuff, let me ask you a question you might not have thought about before. Why is the night sky dark? The obvious answer seems simple enough. The sun isn't illuminating the side of Earth you're on, so you see space, scattered with stars and distant galaxies. But let's dig deeper. Space is full of stars, right? If the universe were infinite and eternal, then in every direction you looked, you should eventually spot a star. If that were the case, the night sky should be as bright as day, filled with the light of countless suns. This is where a paradox arises, why isn't the night sky overwhelmingly bright? This question has a name, Olbers Paradox, after the German astronomer Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers. If the universe is infinite and filled with stars, why is the sky dark? One explanation could be that the universe isn't infinite after all. Maybe there is a point in space where stars and galaxies simply stop, and beyond that, there's only darkness. But the real answer is far more complex and fascinating. To understand it, we need to go back to the beginning of time. About 13.8 billion years ago, the universe as we know it was born in a fiery explosion known as the Big Bang. Back then, the universe was a hot, dense place filled with matter, antimatter, and radiation. It was also expanding, rapidly. This expansion has continued ever since, with space itself growing larger and larger over billions of years. Astronomers observe this expansion today. When they look at distant galaxies, they see something curious, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away from us. This leads us to an intriguing concept, the further you look into the universe, the more galaxies seem to be receding at speeds greater than that of light. There's a mysterious distance at which galaxies are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. This doesn't break any laws of physics, nothing can travel through space faster than light, but space itself can expand at any rate. The region where galaxies exceed the speed of light is known as the Hubble Sphere, currently about 14.4 billion light years away from Earth. Light emitted by anything beyond this barrier will never reach us because it's simply too slow to catch up. But here's the mind-blowing part. The Hubble sphere is expanding, meaning every day, more of the universe becomes visible as space itself grows. Light that once couldn't reach us might one day make its way to our telescopes as the universe evolves. However, this doesn't mean that we can see everything. We are still confined to a finite view of the cosmos, what scientists call the observable universe, a bubble that stretches about 93 billion light years across. But outside of this bubble, there's more, much more. The universe doesn't end where our vision does. Let's go back to Olber's paradox. Why isn't the night sky a sea of blinding light? The answer lies in the universe's expansion. As galaxies move away from us, the light they emit gets stretched out, shifting to the red end of the spectrum. The farther away the galaxy, the more its light is redshifted, until eventually, it shifts into infrared, a wavelength of light invisible to our eyes. So, while the universe might be full of stars, the light from many of them is stretched beyond our visible range, making the night sky appear dark to us. Now, let's tackle one of the biggest questions, what shape is the universe? If the Big Bang was an explosion, wouldn't the universe expand into a spherical shape, like a balloon blowing up? That seems logical. In fact, early philosophers like Aristotle and Ptolemy believed that the universe was spherical. But thanks to Einstein's theory of general relativity, we know that space isn't flat, it's a curved fabric called spacetime, which is bent by the presence of mass and energy. This curvature could give the universe one of three possible shapes. First, the universe could be positively curved, like the surface of a sphere. 
In this scenario, if you traveled in a straight line through space, you'd eventually loop back around to where you started, just like how you can circle the Earth. Second, the universe could be negatively curved, like a saddle. In this case, parallel lines would diverge as you traveled, and space would go on infinitely without looping back. The third option is that the universe is flat, with parallel lines remaining parallel forever. Observations suggest that our universe is, in fact, flat on the largest scales. This doesn't mean it's two-dimensional, it just means that space doesn't curve back on itself. Cosmologists have tested the shape of the universe by measuring the angles in cosmic triangles. If space were positively curved, the angles of a triangle would add up to more than 180 degrees. In negatively curved space, the angles would add up to less. But in a flat universe, the angles would add up to exactly 180 degrees. By studying the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, scientists have found that the angles of cosmic triangles do indeed add up to 180 degrees. This suggests that space is flat, or at least very close to it. Now that we know space is flat, we can ask the next big question, is the universe infinite, or does it have a boundary? If it's infinite, you could, in theory, fly in a straight line forever without ever reaching an edge. But if it's finite, then space could loop back on itself, like a video game map where walking off one side of the screen brings you back to the other. Many cosmologists believe that the universe is infinite. But even if it is, there's a limit to what we can observe. The universe is expanding so rapidly that much of it is already beyond our reach. As we discussed earlier, 94% of all the galaxies we can see are receding faster than the speed of light. This means that even if we had a spaceship that could travel at the speed of light, we'd never be able to reach them. Here's where things get really strange. If the universe is truly infinite, then everything, every possible configuration of matter, should exist somewhere. That means there could be infinite versions of Earth out there, each slightly different. There could be a version of you watching this video, and another version of you that didn't click on it at all. This may sound like science fiction, but it's a real implication of an infinite universe. If there's an infinite amount of space, and only a finite number of ways to arrange the particles that make up everything, then repetition is inevitable. But no matter how many alternate Earths may exist out there, we'll never reach them. The universe's expansion is pushing them farther and farther away from us, faster than we can ever hope to travel. As we sit here on Earth, the universe is slipping away from us. Every second, 60,000 stars pass beyond our reach, never to be seen or visited again. In 100 billion years, every galaxy will have moved so far away that they will disappear from view, leaving us with nothing but darkness. A civilization that evolves billions of years from now will never know about the universe we see today. To them, the universe will consist only of their home galaxy, and they might never discover the secrets we've unlocked about the Big Bang, galaxies, and the cosmic microwave background. This might sound like a bleak future, but there's a beauty to it as well. The universe is vast beyond imagination, filled with wonders that we'll never fully understand. But even as it expands and changes, we remain connected to it. Right now, as you watch this video, you understand the universe better than any human did just 100 years ago. In the centuries to come, humanity will continue to explore the cosmos, discovering new secrets about the universe we call home. And who knows? Maybe the questions we're asking today, about the size and shape of the universe, its possible infinities, and the limits of our knowledge, will seem quaint compared to what we'll discover in the future. So keep asking questions. The universe is vast, and there's always more